Hi everyone, in this video I would like to explain on cloud-based test automation. Why cloud-based test automation? There are some specific reasons for an organization to choose cloud-based automation. The first reason is coverage in platforms, browsers and devices. Cloud testing tools provides support for all the available platforms, browsers or devices and in different versions. It could be possible only with cloud testing tools. Then parallel execution. Parallel execution is more efficient with cloud testing tools because it allows to run the same test scripts parallelly in different browsers or different devices, which helps to reduce the time of execution in terms of checking compatibility across different browsers or devices. Then scalability. Cloud providers give options to increase or decrease the required configurations in a short period. Even some cloud services have options to choose licenses on a month-on-month -month basis. Then the next reason is enables continuous delivery. Cloud services support CACD tools like Jenkins, Azure Pipeline and so on. Using plugins, automated tests can be run immediately after any deployment or code changes. Then the most important reason is reduced infrastructure cost. It's cost effective because cloud computing allows payment to be made only for the actual time used. No maintenance overhead because the service provider will be responsible for build, execution and for any updates. Also some of the tools are available as free version for open source projects. Top cloud testing tools. As the demand for cloud services increases, there are so many cloud testing tools are available in the market now, such as Source Labs, CTest Cloud, Browser Stack, AWS Device Form, and so on. And also, these tools has the features to record test execution, to generate test report, and to take screenshot for the failure cases. Also, most importantly, it allows to integrate with different automation tools like Appium, Selenium and uh, CI/CD tools like Jenkins, Azure Pipeline and so on. This is the cloud automation architecture which we are using in our organization. Here you can see the list of tools which we are using for automation. Let's see how it works on real-time project. First, choosing the cloud testing tool. The project which we are going to automate requires to automate only the mobile application. So we have chosen Ctest Cloud Expedit Test which provides services only for the mobile devices. We can automate both Android as well as iOS in Ctest Cloud. Then integrate cloud testing tool with automation tool or scripts. Some of the automation tools have the option to integrate with cloud devices. Here uh, you can see we have the option to integrate with Ctest Cloud. We can use it by giving the access key or else we can mention it in our automation scripts like this. Then locate elements in cloud devices. Every cloud devices have the option to locate elements. For example, here I'm going to locate the login element. So when I click on the login, here we can see the list of login properties like ID, text, label, name, class and so on. So from this, we can take uh, the required detail and then we can copy the unique XPath as well. So we can use that in our test scripts. Manage automation scripts in cloud repository. Here we are using GitHub to manage our code in cloud. Here you can see the list of branches. Each branches have the set of automation scripts. Integrate cloud repository with CI/CD tool. So I'm going to create a new pipeline and going to link the Git repository. As it is Maven project, I am choosing Maven. So now it integrated, we can save it and run. It will execute the test automation scripts from the Git. Test execution and test results with reports. 
so the pipeline execution is in progress now test case execution is completed and it's generating report and it finalized the job so build succeed and the test case is passed so for demo purpose i have executed only one case here we can see the report for that particular case so this is the extent report here you can see the step by step test execution details with the screenshot